You know what? I want to breach. Let's breach some nerds. If anything, I would normally do. Let's pick one, pack one through the breach. Let's get some fatties. Maybe we can do something fun here. Uh, this is not what I want to breach. I guess I'm just going to take canal. Force it. Oh, breach my legion war boss. But do it in beginning of combat so I don't even get a token. Boom. Nah, Worm Coil is okay, but I'd rather just kill them. Expressive Iteration or Preordain, both pretty nuts. I think Preordain is probably a little bit better than Expressive in this particular deck. Actually, that's not even true. Both are just insane. What am I talking about? This one might wheel, though, because it's two color, right? Uh -huh. um. Taking Discord memes into the channel. Y'all are lame. Shall we just take the Kiki Jiki? And what? What? Oh. My pity points for going two and two? I don't even want to look at them. Eh, Resto's not even the card I want to go off with Kiki Jiki anyways. I'd rather just stick to two color if possible. Yo, Matt87, thank you for the eight month sub in. Whoa, what a pack. Ah, treachery is so good, but so is Miss Kalkin, is it charm? Look, counters in the front, party in the back, okay? Oh my gosh, you're right. Through the breach, the restoration angel, so I can effectively cast it with flash. Did you just, did you just five head? Yeah, Nexus of Fate is not a good card. As in, for magic, it is obviously a good card, but man, this card is not fun. Anyways, we have a Triome here, we have a Titan here. Titan is actually pretty good with Through the Breach because you can EOT it, deal three, and then attack, deal another three. It's also just good with like Kiki Jiki, but yeah, Titan, Titan's a great win con. Uh, Mulligan. I think Urza's in this. So I'm going to take Winter Orb. <laughs> Maybe we get Urza. Just a value, random value combo. Or bead. You know, Worldly Tutor is actually not a crazy splash, right? I'm down for that. Like, if we're going to go with the Kiki Jiki combo. Being able to tutor one up, not two shabs, huh? Not two shabs. Baby, you so classic. Needle actually makes sense in a combo deck, whereas triple blue Jace does not. Ooh. Hmm. We could even run once upon a time. What? What? That's a good one to wheel. Decent. Wow, 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 wow. Give me the juice. We're, we're wheeling every card we wanted to take. Coming together like a charm. Can't bet. So we take. We could run this too. I'm not going to. Iteration, didn't we all? That's true. That is another solid pack. 
Wow. Hmm. Impulse really, really good for digging for combo pieces. But then we have Bony and Bolt. Talisman of Progress, even something that we could consider. Although it looks like the uh, Resto didn't wheel in pack one, right? So we didn't get it. Pulse or Giant? Although I suppose Bolt might be slightly better with the uh, Snapcaster Mage pickup. But man, this stupid Eldrain cards are just so, so much value. I don't expect to re wheel the Bolt. I could see the Impulse or the Thirst wheeling. I feel like this card is just too good though. Ah, oh, man, speaking of packs that are too good. Scalding Tarn, Strip Mine, Taiga, Ponder, Memory Lapse. All right, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend too long in that pack. I'm just going to take the Tarn and be smart. Similarly here, take the Twin. So we're just looking for Pestermite, Deceiver Exarch, and the Conscripts now. Gear Hulk. Medium. Supreme Will. This one's actually pretty good for the deck. Um, good interaction, whether it be a counter or it digs us four to one of our combo pieces. Mesa versus Narset. I guess Fabled Passage is fine as well. Uh, yeah, this doesn't get blue right now. I don't expect the Time Twister to wheel, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven. I mean... Ah, the fetches are the safe picks, right? But I'm gonna go with Nars. Planeswalker's too good. You're watching me live and on YouTube at the same time? Whoa. Y'all got any of them Flash creatures? that are blue and potentially cost three mana. Thanks. And now if they give me Vendillion Click or Brazen Borrower, I'm not going to be upset. But those weren't specifically the ones I was hoping for. Eh, I don't think we need Ash Barons. Okay, that is a draw seven for the Narse. Am I even splashing Worldly Tutor? I guess I'm not right now. Chain Lightning versus that Coast for fixing. Yeah, we'll Chain Gang. Has anybody played Orcish Lumberjack in this cube? I want that card to be good, but man, it feels so bad every time. Oh, I was kind of ditching the Breach plan too. Did an okay thing once. That's not high praise. <laughs> yeah, I did that okay thing once. <laughs> Smoking. Remember that time I went two and two? With a really good sealed deck? I do. Damn, we wheeled that impulse, baby! Would also take Chromatic Star. I blame mana problems, even though I don't know how we had mana problems. Duff Duff 16, thank you for the 43 months of Prime. Where am I playing? This is the OG. This is Magic the Gathering Online. I think Gear Hulk got a lot better. We picked up, since uh, passing it, we picked up like Commit, Impulse, Fire and Ice, Supreme Will, right? Is it? No, oh, Is it Charm was in the other pack, but. Oh man. It went Altar of Dementia into Malyra. Pick up a Kitchen Finks, go Infinite. Yes, you can. That's why I mentioned it. I haven't, I've opened the Demonic Tutor quite a bit this uh, format. That is to say, the previous draft and this draft. 
Do I just want Thought Scour here? Or Ancient Tomb? The problem with Ancient Tomb is that my color requirements are actually pretty high. But Tomb has the biggest upside. Scour is good with Gear Hulk and Commit to Memory and Snapcaster Mage. I legit see, I, I could see just taking Demonic Tutor here. Ugh. I'll take it. I'll take it, goddammit. Yeah, I have the Sulphurous Springs. I do, it's true. Could even take Valky if I wanted. I guess I'm okay taking the Storm. Nah, that, that's not good enough by itself. Well, there's the Recruiter, which does currently get Kiki Jiki. I could also take Polluted Delta, which doesn't actually get a red source right now, but it would get a black for D Toots. But. Just give me the combo piece. That was pick three. I've got five more packs to get one of the pieces, or otherwise be very, very upset. No. I don't want any of these. I want combo. Don't make me just play red blue. No, I don't want the channeler. I kind of want the top. I'm sticking with my combo plan. It's going to work. It's going to work, the streamer screamed. As it didn't work. Three more chances. Three more opportunities. Is a time warp even good in this deck? Boundaries beast, but slow. I don't need unholy heat, do I? Yeah, I'll just take the dirty nips. Okay, this is pick six. Two more chances. One more chance. Okay. I've got the underground river if I want to play the uh, D toots. We'll be fine. We'll make this work. Mm, is the recruiter worth running now with the image? Image, Snapcaster, Daredevil? No, not quite. Eh, this deck can still win. Would certainly be a lot better with a combo piece, but this can definitely still win. Nah, I don't think Breach is good enough. Maybe one last playable? Nah, not quite. So we don't need the sandstone needle anymore. Ugh, I guess I could just run a really weak value Kiki. Or maybe splash the pest infestation. All right, I'm okay running a value Kiki. I don't think I need a basic forest. We have Impulse, sorry, not Impulse, yeah, Talisman of Impulse, Stomping Ground, and Scalding Tarn, which gets the Stomping Ground. So that's three green sources there. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this will be fine. Chat, we got this. Brainstorm fetch. Man, we're just too good. Soul Ring! Gosh. Why wasn't I on the play? 
If I was on the play, we just blow that up. So hopefully they just level up and don't have another play. God! I don't think we want to brainstorm fetch yet. There's no need to. Oop. Imagine being on the draw and letting them cast a free talisman. What's up, Steve? I don't need to run out the Narset, but I only have one draw seven in the deck and it's commit to memory, so that takes a long time. Long time to get to. Well, at least they don't draw an extra card there. Are you <sighs> So I actually need to keep the land. So let's go Chandler Impulse bin the Kiki. Draw the land next turn. No. You don't necessarily play against your own pod. And I think the, uh, I think MTG bot said this person was already 1 0, so. Right side here is that now if they want to tuck the Titan, they have to lose the Teferi. And they haven't drawn any extra cards off the Teferi because of the Narset. Uh, that's fine. Actually, that actually gives me Delirium, so thank you. Uh, oh. Oh. Eh, I mean, that's bad, but that's... Yeah, this is fine. They can activate Shell Dock though. Ah, trading there is so rough. I could snap Ice the Primus and hit them for quite a bit, but then it, this is still an issue too. We have no idea what's under the dock. Well, I'm debating if it's better to Impulse this turn or Inferno Titan and pump for their face instead. Because the Channeler can go to Teferi and then I can ping Teferi for one and them for two and hit them for like half their life. Okay. That's actually pretty good too. Hmm. Ah, uh, this turn is still kind of rough. The persist on this is brutal. I could even go Chain Lightning, Snap Chain Lightning, the Primus. But I guess I'm just going to go for the Ice play. And hope that whatever under is underneath the Shelldock Isle isn't super relevant. That's worth keeping. Don't be unsettled, chat. It's okay. Well, here we go. What is it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Beatable. Look, it's only fair. I bricked twice with goddamn Narset. They bricked with their shell dock. Uh-oh, pre-combat spells. Wait! They missed lethal. Eh, whatever, I can't win still.
Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a way to win. They miss lethal, but it doesn't matter. Oh god, was that actually? A, no, no, that doesn't matter. Because I'd have to go to one there anyway. I don't have conscripts in my deck. You know what I blame? I blame the damn Narset. How many hits do we have for in the, for it in the deck? A decent amount, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, probably like ten-ish. We brick twice. Sand slaps. I could get super greedy and well. I guess I have miscalc in my hand, so what the hell? I can get a little bit greedy here. Because you never know, they could just play another one toughness mana dork. Yeah. Oh my god. This channeler saving me. Saving me for the from the delicious beats. Dude, top with channeler every turn is kinda nuts. I'm wondering if I want to hold up commit here instead. That's probably a little bit better, even though obviously I'm foretelling something here. And they might not even cast anything, but that's fine. I'll keep that one. Oh baby, we can make the play now, chat. Commit this turn and then Gear Hulk next. Ooh! Daddy like. Oh, should I have not put the Gear Hulk on top since I want to draw it? Maybe. Do I want to do it on draw step? I think I'd rather just wait to see what they do. Because it's possible that I want to just miscalc something instead, you know? Although no plays I will certainly go for. No, 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 because the, the Glenelendra is tucked. They draw it next turn. I don't even know if I want to just memory them. I'm wondering if... I, mean, I guess I can wait to pass and draw right now if I want to. But I could also draw Titan. Okay. That's good. So we're going to spin the top when they play Glenelendra. Or Questing Beast. Put something we don't want on top. I guess the Atarka is not good without green. Although I can float the Atarka if we want to. Miscalc this. Good. All right. So let's uh, let's uh, draw the Bone Crusher. Stomp. Put the Atarka in the graveyard. Smash for five. Play out the Bony. Ass. Now if they just Glenelendra, they're going to die to my random creatures. So they're going to Glen here, and we can chain. I 
Those are all good, right? They're not dead on board, are they? They're at one on board. So let's shoot the Fintorn Elf with the land in the graveyard. This forces them to block either the Bone Crusher or the Channeler, and so the Snapcaster doesn't get traded. They go to one, and then I'm drawing Supreme Will. They can't activate their City of Brass anymore. Yeah, it should be good. Tempo. All right, good stuffs. And now we're on the draw for game three, so we lose. Channeler was insane. Channeler, how many cards did it put in the graveyard? No! No! Not like this! No! Why didn't I win the die roll game one, chat? Why wasn't I smart and win the die roll get chain lightning? Why was I a big dum dum? Stupid two toughness. Maybe they play another one drop. No, no, no questing beasts. No, not, no, no! God, I love magic. All right, I need to draw commit for that. <sighs> this game would be so easy on the play. Actually crazy how easy this game would have been on the play. We still have a little bit of time. Probably need to cycle this miscalc if they don't do anything here. Of course, it's a two. Well, I'm dead on board. So that's good. And GG. Ah, so brutal! Easiest game of my life if we're on the play. Ay, ay, ay. Hands fine. Hands very fine. Once upon a time. Easy 2 1 from here. I think I'll draw that one. Ranger Captain of Eos. I'm gonna save the Supreme Will in case we need to go under the top. Or get ourselves out of a top lock. Which I have Narset for, but Grist. No, the arena downtime was five hours today. Oh, did they extend it even further? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worst case scenario, we can always just draw the top, draw with the top, and then Narset draw the top. Should I just slam the Gear Hulk with the memory now? They have five cards in their hand. Could also just pass with the Gear Hulk encounter, but I mean. Yeah, what the hell. I want to have fun. 
<laughs> this is so not worth it, but... Let's have some fun. No. Oh? Snuffin'. I could do a lot of things, but I didn't play a land yet, so... <sighs> like I said, I just wanted to do it. I don't think it was the right play. If you're wondering why I did something, the answer is because I wanted to. <laughs> Sand is pretty solid. Hmm, maybe I should brainstorm first, put something I don't want. Seems fine to keep. Yeah, let's... Let's brainstorm. I should have done this first before fire icing. Okay, now we can go land... Canal, land, time warp, bin the uh, spire bluff. Do I want to upkeep impulse to bin the other land? Nah, I'll just play a Tarka. Uh, I guess I'll impulse now. I could potentially get delirium. That will work. If you're wondering how the Gear Hulk died the first time, it was snuff out. Six life, huh? Um, 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to incinerate something on upkeep here. The question is, is it the dragon or is it their face? I guess I'll go ahead and do it to the dragon since we have chain lightning in the deck somewhere. Oh, and that. Your move. What you got, OP? I don't think they can really do too much here. Any given Sunday, thank you for the 34 months of Prime. Typhoid, thanks for the 51 months. Sorry, I missed you guys. Maestro Bombadil, thank you for the six months of Prime. Ali from Cairo? No, because we just kill it. Couldn't I just Inferno Titan them to the face? Uh, n no. So I incinerated the dragon, and then we saw the Titan. If I had known that the Titan was on top, sure, I could incinerate their face and then draw a Titan, but it would just put them to one. So it's better just to kill the 5-5 five, five flyer and still get in for three, instead of just hitting them for three and leaving a 5-5, five, five, right? Yeah, for the Vintage Challenge, I was playing Pio. You can find the deck list uh, on... Goldfish. It's only $85,000. Nice hand. Kiki the Stinker. One, two, three, four. Top, top. What's my favorite constructed format? Yeah, I like vintage. It is a big update, yeah. It's the uh, jumpstart historic one. I'm gonna go ahead and take two here. Maybe they play a planeswalker. I want a charm. They get the option, but 
don't really care. The way I see it, even if they take one of these, I still have some kind of counter magic for the following turn. Right, the update goes live, or rather the update is implemented today, but it doesn't go live until Thursday. Which is better, right? If they if they implemented it on Thursday, then we you most likely would not be able to play. But pushing it early means they can get the uh, update for people, you know, today or tomorrow, and then you can play it on Thursday. Oh, <laughs> ephemerates the uh, well. Sorry, LP, I drew a fire. They did have a Planeswalker! Yo, my man channel. I guess I'll just pass. Draw step tuck. Pretty damn, it's pretty freaking good, I'd say. Akadim! MVP. MVP. So we have sorcery, instant, and land in graveyard currently. Darcy, that's a good one. As much as I want to hold land for looting with charm, I don't think that's right. Oh, Chad. I guess I'm going to cycle the miscalc and then bolt the knight. Oh, wait, no, I can't do that. I don't think this is four mana. Just let's just get rid of that right now then. Last card in their hand is a thicket. Dire Fleet Ephemerate. Ephemerate once upon a time. Combo! That works, right? Doesn't care who cast this. Oh wait, no, if you cast a spell from your hand. Well, I guess that's still better because it gives me double trigger, so. No reason not to. <laughs> ah, fine, give me delirium. It does matter since, uh, we have commit to memory in our graveyard too. Deuces! Thanks for the 15 months of prime. Oh my, wait. No, that ruins me. Oh, uh, don't do it, OP. No, they did it. They saw the play. Ah, GTY. Ah, oh, what? Boo, last card. Boo! All right. If I draw... No, I don't know. I can't. We're dead. I mean, I guess I can kill the... Uh... Oh, God. Ugh. No, I'm not dead dead, but I'm basically dead. I 
do I beat that? Do I just need to kill the Gideon here? I guess I just need to kill Gideon. Still dying to the Gta, but... No, because they can, in response to a Tuck, kill the Snappy. Getting rid of Gideon is priority number one. I'm not dead on board right now. They can put me to one with the insect. Wow. Had I cycled miscalc on my turn, that would have actually saved me. You know, it's not ideal chat, but I'm gonna commit to memory here, because I don't think I have a better line. Here you go, OP. Seven fresh cards. Enjoy. Joke's on you. That costs two life! Got him! <sighs> Record? 0-1. Game two of round two. Up a game, I believe. D toot. So let's get through that crap first, and then ice the insect. Daredevil on uh, Demonic Tutor is also interesting. Fire to kill the Kithian and then make the insect lose a counter? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay. Maybe we're doing things here. Sword of Fire and Ice. Hmm. <laughs> Those colors are unfortunate to be having protection from. This is actually going to work, chat. Oh my god. I guess I should have done this in the other order, though. But... Because now I'm losing my stompy stomp. Oh god, am I going to be like three short of lethal or something? Right? Oh no, I guess... No, never mind, that doesn't make sense. They can still attack with the insect if they want to, but that's actually good for us, right? Kind of. I mean, they can just kill the Gear Hulk, but... but... Getting their creature off the board is the most important thing here. I think Inferno Titan off the top could win this still. Titan's not gone or anything. Narset. Sure. No, I don't have a combo piece. Kiki Jiki's just for value. A lot of damage. 
Oh! Old. Hold the frickin' baby. I already play a land this turn. Didn't. I need to draw a land then. So put those on top, draw them, discard them. I would still need a land. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I have the land, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm just going to play the uh, Dire Fleet for extra damage, too. Hold. Instance. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Take that! I could keep this and then cast Brainstorm and concede. Nah. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna just probably, unless, unless I draw a mountain, we're gonna ice on turn two and, uh, yeah, try to dig. By the way, we won the die roll. Success. Oh, oh! I still might. Uh, I still might ice them end of turn. I'm gonna let them untap. See if they play a creature instead. But I think I'm gonna ice the coast now and then go for Narset. Yeah, Narset versus Blue White. <laughs> I'm gonna take the counter, even though Top is really good with the Channeler. Maybe they just concede this. Maybe they have nothing but cantrips in their hand. Although, Sleight of Hand actually gets around Narset, but maybe they're just stuck with like um, Preordains and Ponders and stuff now. You can hope. I don't. Is Geist of St. Traft in this cube? I haven't done very many, but I don't think I've seen that card in the drafting portions. Hello. I really want to take Preordain, but... Yeah, I'm going to take Preordain. And then we'll go Chani. Into the Dane. That's cheap enough and relevant enough to keep on top, it seems. Yeah, we'll just keep both. I would be kind of sad to see a shark here. Oh, click. Stomp the nerd. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna bin that. Never mind. I lied. Yo, mad cow! Thank you for the five month sub ins. Classic was a sanctioned casual magic online format that allowed all sets and cards, including promotional cards. The format was introduced to be an alternative. Bloody, 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 bloody. All right, they got rid of my charm. Stone. Stone pass. Hmm. 
you take one and you like it. That's a big update. They said it uh, like on their initial on their initial post it said it was going to be an 8 hour maintenance, but it was only going to be down for 5. So yes, while it has been down for a little bit longer. The maintenance itself being that long is not surprising. Y'all just need to calm down and stop QQing. Y'all are baby raging and I don't like it. You're baby raging when you should be baby Cajun? Cajun gumbo? I want some Cajun food now. Gosh darn it, I'm hungry. No, not caging. Like. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I hate everybody. Grustin1, thank you for the seven months of Prime. Yeah, let's just go back to talking about Booba. Balance. All right, I'm going to incinerate their face so they have to discard. An extra cod. I have to sack two lands here. Well, that's actually really gross. I care more about the land sack than the creatures getting lost. But... Dak, Elspeth, Kefnet, Interessante. Is it time for you to make a miscalculation? Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop. No. Oh my god, you know what? What if I had let that resolved and then they went for brainstorm? <laughs> I did that, uh... Has that video gone up yet? Spoilers, maybe. But I played Narset, and then my opponent played Jace, brainstormed, and conceded. <laughs> uh... Stop it! What the hell? Hole Breacher's in this cube? Oh, that video hasn't gone up yet. All right, slam jam, let's go. Now we need to fade the treachery, chat. Fade the treachery. No treachery for you. What is this? God, how many flashy flash creatures must you contain? This is kill Narset into draw infinity. Oh wait, yeah, what the heck? Why didn't they bounce first? That's a bad sign. That's a really bad sign. <laughs> Here it comes! Yeah. Well... Oh! Oh! Uh, and they know it's in my hand too, don't they? Or no, was this drawn off of the... Maybe this was drawn off of the click. Ah! I mean, they might just have a counter anyway, but... No, no, wait, they were tapped out except for Fiery Islet, right? So brutal. So, I guess I would have died anyway. They just bounced the Atarka. Attack two turns in a row or something. Okay. <sighs> they have too much flashy flash nonsense. I don't like it. My deck is not well suited for that. Maybe I can just get low to the ground and orb them. Take out this Atark. Oh. Took out Stomping Ground, but added a blue. Instead, I need to add a red. Got a Consecrated Sphinx in Iconic Masters and a Scourge of the Throne in Foil in a Mystery Booster. Are those big money? 
I believe the Scourge would be for dragon purposes or whatever, but I didn't think Consecrate Sphinx was all that much. This hand looks, uh... This hand looks constructed quality. Just missing my Scalding Tarn, but damn. Holy crap! Sphinx is that much? Jesus. Arena is dead. Long live Arena. You're not the only one with flashy flash creatures, OP. I can flashy flashy as well. I guess I'll play the snappy out so that I can fire ice. I'm gonna let them take a card first before I fire nice. They did not. They're like, hell no, I don't care. <sighs> so, what happens if they balance this turn? Mm, not that bad. Mm -hmm. Oh? Armageddon. Because why not? Control magic my channeler! Rude! How do we feel about brainstorming this turn and then maybe Phantasmal Image Snapcaster brainstorm? <laughs> I guess I could just impulse through it. Although, I suppose we do not mind drawing those, uh, or at least one of those lands. I don't know, Inferno Titan could be a little bit scary here knowing that they have, uh... I mean, I guess they already used the control magic proper, but... Yo, Shadrach184, thanks for the 10 month of subins. They know I have this in my hands, so I don't think they're gonna run into it anymore. I don't know, maybe I am supposed to just impulse through the double land, but I think it's okay to draw the first. And then maybe Phantasmal the Snapcaster. Impulse again. I don't need to be any doing any of this main phase though. Okay, well I guess we're just gonna pass then. I'll attack into that, that's fine. Maybe they just run into the counter, knowing that uh, I have it in attempts to resolve like one of their big plays. Like go for Elspeth here, I counter it, then they go for something else the next turn, and then I go Gear Hulk counter, and then we just win. Seems reasonable. If they just pass here, though, maybe I do go for Gear Hulk on Impulse. Is that bad? How many counters did they have last game? They had Mystic Confluence. I guess I should probably not do anything then. Run it, running into a Confluence doesn't seem ideal. It's a Flackle. Thanks for the seven months of Prime. <sighs> I feel like the waiting game probably favors them, though. Hmm. Hmm. Orb. A. Dead to that. Can't beat it. And they can they can confluence and pay for supreme will too. Kind of sucks. Back time. Yakety dackety.
Well, can't win. Nexus of Fate. You're one of those gamers, huh? Well, I can resolve Titan and hold up Supreme Will now if I wanted to. Nexus of Fate is a lot different than Temporal Manipulation. I don't recall, did I see any other counters than Mystic from them? They had a bunch of flashy flashes. Yeah, it might have just been the Confluence. I mean, I'm sure they do have at least one other counter, but... <sighs> well, I didn't want to run this into a... I didn't want them to go counter plus draw two. That seems awful. Yeah, Titan into Orb might have been something. If they did tap out for it. Yeah, maybe it was possible. That might have been the turn that I needed to flash out the Gear Hulk. Cause, yeah, I agree. Better better than Titan copy would have been Gear Hulk plus uh, Orb. Now remember, the Supreme Will is face up. They do know about it. But I am just going to pass with it open. It still makes it a little bit harder for them to do stuff. The balance that's in their graveyard? It's too good to shoot it. Although I don't think leaving it alive would have been a terrible play should the balance have uh, not been discarded last turn. Right, they discarded a Mind Stone and a Prismari Command here. Yeah, their deck's better than mine is, though. Okay, I mean... I'm just gonna run out the Titan again. Well, clearly I'm the best player in the world. I've never lost a game that I didn't want to lose. Alright, so they're just gonna tap me out and go for the Confluence, I guess. Damn, if I had one more mana to orb this turn... Would be so dirty. Okay, Confluence down. Jace down. Now we play the game. What's gonna hurt me here? Double white card. Maybe. Elspeth? Minus? Yeah. Appears to be the case. So if I draw a land, I can go Gear Hulk plus Time Walk. What would I copy? I guess Impulse. You can't copy a Sorcery, just Instance. Probably just want to lock them out of the game too, huh? So kill, kill, orb. Hopefully find a cheap counter here. Maybe I should have kept the charm, but I need to find that, right? I can still image the gear hulk here as well. Go get the uh, supreme will this time. Dig a little bit deeper. That will do just fine. I have four, eight, nine mana. Oh, that's perfect. All right. Oh, I guess I had 10. So now we attack DAC. Have to kill the DAC. I could actually, oh no, I have to kill both. Never mind. They both, they both do too many things. <laughs> So 
So I'm going to pass and crush on upkeep. Or whatever, stomp. Well, Chad is the second best player in the world behind me. So it makes sense that they would make plays slightly worse than the ones I make. They pay that? <laughs> All right, baby, let's go. One more, one more, one more. Let's go, one more. Like I said, I think their deck is better than mine, but through sheer determination, skill, looks, yada yada, you know, you know the drill. And the best there ever was. Ah! Do we keep it with top? I don't think it's a... Eh, it's not good. The kiki-jiki and the image don't really do anything. These are kind of like mulligans already. No, these are bad. I think I mulligan this. That looks a lot better. Uh, actually, do I want to pitch Chain Lightning? We could just try to... Yeah, no, I'll pitch the Brainstorm. This could be a quick stompy hand. Always the image. Why? 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 Why for must you? Why? I don't really have any better sideboarding options, though. <laughs> no! What are they doing? Mindstone? Talismans? Cheating! Can't beat that card. Oh, where were you last turn? <sighs> Opt? <laughs> Had to pay a life for that sucker. Do I counter a Mindstone if they play a Mindstone? Uh, counter that. I don't need to counter that, but I'm going to, because we have enough burn to just ping it down. Sequence! Where? Yeah, Talisman was a lot better than Signet there, wasn't it? Womp, womp, womp. I wonder if they eat my Talisman. No you. <laughs> no you, OP. No you. I'm gonna take your talisman, I'm gonna eat it, bruh. Fine. <sighs> I didn't want to stomp end of turn and them have a Mystic Confluence. I don't know. I'm not in a rush right now. I can wait. Stomp on my turn, but then I can't. Uh, then I can't snap this miscalculate. I need one more land currently. They actually have double red here as well for the uh, chain lightning. Oh, 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 I see. The turn that I played the image, you mean. Gotcha. I see, I see. Not on their turn after the fact. No, we'll go ahead and take it. We're going to do an end of turn, I guess. We're going to stomp end of turn since they have enough mana to pay for the miscalc now. Yo, yo, yo. Nice. Now we have Charm and Will. Um, what do we want to do here? What are we hoping to find here? Okay. Fine. Okay. That's 
also fine. <laughs> now they know not to attack. I'm not, I'm, I hate clock wins. Stupid. I wonder if I flash out Snapcaster Mage here and try to do something. Like, it feels like they didn't have the confluence. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I have Supreme Will for three anyways, but... This gives them an open window to do a little bit if they want to. Oh, uh, Narset's really good, but maybe we just want land. I want to shuffle. Alright, we'll just draw naturally, that's fine. Well, thanks for tuning in, Weebly. Do I go for a play here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I need to? Well, I don't know that I need to, but maybe I should. The, the problem with chain lightning their breacher is that they just get to also kill my creature, my snap mage then. I don't know. It feels like while I'm holding charm and will, I don't need to make a play necessarily. Because I really can't let them play out Narset. Which means I need to hold up the double, right? Lands are not bad. With one more land, I can run out one of my relevant threes. Oh, now they're not attacking. Huh? I think I'm going to lead with Narset here. This one I almost don't even care if it gets countered. Oh, sure. Straight up CS. That is fine by the numb. All right, well, we are getting very close to uh, burn them out range. This could be a balanced turn we're about to see. But the Zeus. Six mana? Now hold up. Oh. Hmm. Ah, I probably have to counter this, eh? Giving them two turns while I have these up seems worse than giving them one turn with just charm. But both are pretty bad for me. Not ideal. Because they take two turns consecutively though. With all of their mana available. Alright, that was to be expected post-Nexus. They were just waiting to go double Haymaker. <laughs> They're too no, no no they cast it at the end of my turn. Maybe that's not what you're realizing. They cast Nexus at the end of my turn, so they would take one turn and then another with full mana. This chain lightning's pretty awkward. They, I mean, they might not have a fetchable red with the Edward Mesa anymore. I wonder if I... Okay, they're just going to jump. I was going to say, I wonder if I charm one of their tokens if they triple block the bony. Oh, feels bad that I need to do this. Now I'm certainly losing, but 
I have to. I have to do this. Oh, they messed up. So they let it resolve, which means they no cannot now f uh, fetch in response. Oh, you're right. I should have chained first if they've copied, right? Good point. But yeah, they as soon as the chain resolved, they couldn't fetch the red. They needed to fetch in response to the chain. <laughs> But yeah, I should have led with Chain Lightning. Especially since Incinerate's an instant. And Chain Lightning's a sorcery. I'll just kill a Flyer here if that's what... Oh. They have so much mana that I don't even think I'm going to get a much better target than this. Alright. Well. I got nothing. But they got nothing too! Hey, and that's something! That's real something. Man, screw the clock. I'm gonna kill him with regular damage. Ain't nobody got time for time wins. Oh! Damn it! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, six, seven, eight. I guess I'm just going to incinerate them because I have to discard this anyways. Or sacrifice it. So. There's no way I can make them draw a card, right? No, that wouldn't even make sense. <gasps> Are they gonna. So, wait a minute. Now I could actually draw a card with Supreme Will. Well, I guess I'd rather just make them discard their card. They're going to lose on time there. But that game was still close. We were both going to be living off the top deck. And they would be, they would be at 4 life and it would be a top deck battle. I would draw Daredevil. And... Maybe Prismari command them, and then, ooh, ooh, who knows? Who knows what might have happened? Yeah, anybody's game there? All right, salvage a 2-1. The deck didn't get there, though. We, we picked Kiki Jiki and Twin relatively early, and we just never saw um, Deceiver Exarch, Pestermite, or Zealous Conscripts. The only one creature we saw was the Resto Angel, and it was in the Kiki Jiki pack. But nope, I gotta call it good there for today. That is it for me today, my friendos. Thank you all for tuning in. We will be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm not.